Welcome to Hub Cinema. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and enjoy the video. Oh man. What? I got a C on the vocab test. Oh, how unfortunate. Don't give me that. What? You got a higher grade, didn't you? <laughs> huh? High score. <laughs> of course. Oh, hey Frisk. What'd you get on the vocab test? Oh wow! 110%? Oh, you got the bonus questions right. Cool. You gotta tutor me, Frisk. Hey, Frisk. Let me see your test. Thank you. Oh, it was vigorous. I thought as much. Whoops. Kara! Hey, you noticed something weird with mom lately? Like, I know she's not on good terms with dad, but lately, even just mentioning him makes her, uh, unpleasant. Her scowl during those movements puts yours to shame. Right? What bothers me is why she can't stand him, but seems perfectly fine with me, especially with what I've done. Does she know? She should. Didn't you tell her? I thought you told her. You said you would. Perhaps in another timeline, but definitely not this one. Hey, I thought we both agreed we wouldn't joke about that. Tomorrow, I'm gonna talk to Dad about this. A bit surprised. You never want to go on grocery runs with Frisk and me. Yeah, I actually came so you can drop me off at Dad's on the way. I want to talk with him about some stuff. Oh, well. And before you say, but I'm your parent, you may talk with me. It's because it's more guy stuff. But. And before you say, I thought you had Frisk for that. Not even they know where to fall on that spectrum. And you know that. My heavens, Asriel, that was the last thing I was thinking. I was gonna ask how long you would stay. You know plenty of guy stuff. Yeah, it's no issue. I'll even drive him back, save you some trouble and gas. <laughs> it would be a change of pace, huh? Okay, bye. Whew, she's gotten quicker with those quips. Oh well. It's worth it for some milkshakes and a view of the sunset over the lake with my boy. I'm glad you think so, Dad. Um, you mind if I ask you a personal question? Sure. So, you've done some unpleasant things in the past? Haha, <laughs> golly. That's quite a bit of sugarcoating there. How do you move on from that? Hmm. That sort of negativity is like a lead weight tied to your heart. And if you focus on it too much, it can get heavy enough to crush it. So you try and balance it out with positive things. It doesn't have to be anything huge. Just small, good moments. It could be picking up a new hobby or a sale on your favorite candy. Enjoying a movie, helping a neighbor, or spending weekends with your kids. You focus on the good for long enough. The pain of your regrets dull a bit. You forget about it a bit longer each time. After a while, it's like it's not even there. Have you ever gone to that point yet? I know it's not what you want to hear, son. But I don't see myself getting there anytime soon. Why do you ask? I know I don't want to talk about it at all. But back when I was a flower, I did a number of unpleasant things too. Unpleasant thing? Oh. Oh. Hey. If I didn't think I could ever move on, do you think I'd bother? Even if that vision of inner peace is far away, you have to keep up hope, right? As long as it doesn't drag on like your last vision. Oh no, Tori's rubbing off on you. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs>
No therapy session today? Nope. Doc had to reschedule for tomorrow. Tonight, it's Coco, Cookies, and Pixar movies. Well, as long as you're in bed by 11. Hey, Mom, while you're here, can I tell you something? Of course, dear. I'm all ears. Awesome. So I think it'd be a great idea if you try talking out all your issues with Dad. That's not an all ears face. I'm sorry. May I ask what warranted that thought? I don't know. I know it's how you act towards him. And trust me, a grudge can mess things up bad. It'd be better for everyone if you just work it out. I mean, don't you think he deserves a little bit of slack? It is best that I do not answer. Mom, come on! Dad's trying his hardest to move forward, like me. It seems like you don't want him to. He should get just as much of a chance as I do. My child, I wish you would not compare your situation to his. It is not like you have taken innocent lives. Except I have, Mom! You have... what? I've... I've killed people, Mom. When I was a flower, that flower. When Dad did it, he had a reason. It wasn't justified, but he had one. I didn't. I... I wasn't all there. I was messed up. I had no reason. I did it because I could. For kicks and giggles. I've struck down almost everyone in the underground. Multiple times. I've killed you, and Dad, and Alphys, Papyrus, the paper boy. I must have killed Frisk a thousand times. And that was some generous rounding down. And that haunts me. The regret is soul crushing, and I want to escape it, to heal. And I know those chances are small, but I can't give up. But when I still see you hanging on to rage towards dad, then how in hot land can I think that I can't get over it? I don't need to hear that I can never be forgiven, that there's no hope of improving, not from you. So for the sake of everyone, you either do something to fix this, or you better start giving me the worst time than you do for dad. I need a moment. Mom. I need a moment. <laughs> Frisk, where do you think you're going at this hour? Andrew's gone for a walk and you plan on joining him. He hates being alone. In the dark? He goes on night walks when he feels helpless. Helpless? Did he really mean what he said in the kitchen? Azra was serious when he said all that. It's not your place to say, but he is in a lot of pain due to his past. He has that in common with his dad. You let Toriel know her actions towards Asgore hurt Azra because of that. Again, it's not really your place to say. You just want to be there for your brother. You promised to be back before a curfew. Just a sec, I'll... Oh, howdy, Toriel. Why are you up so late into the... Have you been crying? What's wrong? I need your help. Option! It's still a test, but I have no choice! Hey, Undyne! Look at me now! Special weapon! Huh? Huh? Uh, um, it still needs some practice. Hey, don't drop your guard. Uh, oh, God. Get ready for another bone attack. He. Uh. Ha. Yeah. Uh. Checkmate. Good job, Frisk. Oh, no. Uh. Uh. Ow. I may have gone a little bit too far. You can get up. Kill her! Huh? <laughs> I won! Good job, Azzy! Yep, 
I barely saw that coming. Indeed! Ugh, it was tiring. I think I'll go home. What? Already? Yeah, it was fun. I'll see you at home. Um, usually he stays longer than that. Yeah, at least an hour. In the evening. Hmm? Oh, howdy, Azriel. How was the training? It was pretty cool. First stayed with Undyne and Papyrus. I'm back! Ah, Azriel, you're here. Did you have fun? Yeah, but I'm a little tired, so we'll get something to drink. <sighs> Sup, kid? Geez, Sans, you scared the heck out of me. Yeah, sorry, kid. Didn't mean to scare ya. You looked so depressed. So you're already back? Yeah, I was tired. And what did you do? Oh, you know, running, dodging, some spears, getting my butt kicked, punching someone in the face. Huh? I mean, getting punched in the face. <laughs> Sadly, you didn't get punched. Well, gotta go. If you need me, you know where to find me. I can't talk to Sans about my latest problems. Only him and Frisk know that I was Flowey. They were both enemies a long time ago. Huh. Hey, Azriel. I met Lucia on the way home. And she wants to do a basketball game with the others. Can you come? Huh? I don't know. I'm pretty tired and... Well, if you insist on getting beaten up... Later, Mom. We're gonna go play with some friends. Okay, but don't let it get too late, all right? Hi, guys. I managed to get Azriel. So, little prince, ready to lose? Speak for yourself, Lucia. Yo, Dave, can you install my arms? Wait, there you go. Jock Alfie's is really a genius. Elise isn't there? No, she said she was sick. I'm lucky. Okay, everyone, we follow my rules. Each of us must put the ball in the basket to score a point. No teams, get it? <laughs> Get ready. And match! I got it! Got it! You shall not pass. First point for me, Bandalf! Wait, no! Nope, mine. Now here I come! You are getting past me! Hmm. Uh, point for me! Not again! <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> ha! Whoa! Yeah! One point for me! Yo, Lucy, that was so fast! Yeah, I barely saw the ball coming! So cool! My turn now. Guys, Frisk has the ball! Ha! Uh, wait, magic is allowed? Yep. Oh, come on! Just you and me now, Frisk! Try to catch the ball. <laughs> Too easy! Now the fireball! And one point to me. Damn it, I have to do something. Guys, don't forget that the first person who scores three points wins. And it will be me. Wait! What? No! What? Chaos Buster! The point is for me! Score! Hey! That was my point. Well, I got the ball. You stole my point. You did the same thing with me. I caught and threw the ball. You just touched it. I earned that point. Now it's my time to shine. <laughs> Finally a point for me. Loser! <gasps> Ouch! Okay. Uh, did you get hurt, buddy? Uh, you let me go! I want you out of here. This court is reserved for humans. Monsters aren't allowed. Jason, stop! Yeah, what do you want? Leave him alone. Who the hell are you? Another one? You're one of his friends? Cecile, what are you? Shut up, you freak! Wait, what? Oh, I see. You're his girlfriend, aren't you? Leave him alone. Well, you're nothing to me. You're just some horrible monsters, and if you don't want to go, then I'll move you all by force! This time you're going too far, Jason! What do you want, Asriel? Uh, 
You think you can come and give me orders? <sighs> Just because you're the little prince of monsters doesn't mean that you can order me around. Again, you're nothing to me. You and your friends are just dust, only fit for throwing in the trash! <gasps> we should have thrown you back into your mountain. And let you all die. <gasps> Whoa! What are you doing? Wait! Let him go, you monster! Looks like you're having fun bullying my friend! Mind if I do the same with you, idiots? Ezreal? <sighs> <sighs> bullying would be too simple. I'll end this now. Let me teach you something. N no, please! In this world. Azriel, stop it! <clears throat> huh? What? Oh no, it happened again. I knew it! You're all menaces! My parents will hear about this! I think I'm really tired. You're. You're not looking okay. Are you feeling better? Yes, thank you. What a bunch of idiots. Okay, guys, we're gonna go. Thanks for the game. It's okay. Take care. Yeah, we can continue this game another day. See you at school, Frisk and Azzy. Yeah, same. Uh, thanks for the help, dude. Hey, I helped you too. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Thank you too, Cecile. B bye, everyone. See you soon. Mm. Frisk explained what happened to Mom and Dad. Jason's dad came to complain to Mom. I felt really bad that she had to deal with that because of me. But for now, the only problem that was concerning me was me.